Hey, I'm Professor Perez. Today we're going to work on part two of digits and place value. But before we get started, we need our student of the semester, Charlie. He ready to be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. Last time we were talking about expanded forms of numbers. And remember, writing numbers in expanded form help you remember place value. So 587 in expanded form, Charlie, is written this way. 500 plus 80 plus 7. That sum is the expanded form. And we wrote it that way because we have 500s, 8 tens, and 7 ones. Now how do we say the number correctly? 587. And that's it. Let's try another one, Charlie. In expanded form, this is 700,000 plus 30,000 plus 5,000. We have zero in the hundreds place, so we put a zero to represent that place value. We have two tens, so we write 20, and we have eight ones. And why do we read it that way? Because we have seven hundred thousands, we have three ten thousands, five one thousands, we had zero hundreds, but we did have two tens and eight ones. How do we say that number correctly? Seven hundred thirty-five thousand twenty-eight. There you go. Okay, when we add numbers, we line up everything by place value. And we line up the digits in each place value, right? So let's first write these numbers in expanded form. We have 500 plus 80 plus 7, and 300 plus 0 plus 2. And of course, when we add numbers, we add up in each place value, right? So 7 plus 2 is 9, 8 plus 0 is 8, and 5 plus 3 is 8. Well, notice in the expanded forms, if we add everything by place value, we see we have 9, 80, and 800. That's because the result has 9 ones, 8 tens, and 8 hundreds. And of course, 889 in expanded form is written as 800 plus 80 plus 9. So hopefully this shows you why we have to line up numbers in their place value when we add. All right, Charlie. Now, here's a number. Let's say it correctly. Now, pay attention. Here we go, Charlie. 735,028. That's it. Here we have 3 million 5,000, because we have a 5 in our thousands period, 6. There you go. Now, Charlie, here, pay attention. We have 7 trillion, 108 billion, 23 million, 805,002. There you go. All right, Charlie, now, let's try this one. We have the 100, right? In the beginning of this number, what period is that? Billions. Very nice there, Charlie. So we have 100 billion. Notice we have no millions. When we are writing out word statements, we don't have to represent that particular period. We don't write zero million, right? We just leave it alone. We do not have any thousands, so we don't have to write out any words for that period. But we do have eight ones, and so we put eight there. So to read that number correctly, 100 billion, eight. And that's it. Okay, the next number, Charlie, we have 300 million, no thousands, but we have three ones. So it's read 300 million, three, and that's it. Here, Charlie, you want to try this one? Bring us home, Charlie. What do you get? One, one, one billion, one million, one thousand, one. Very nice there, Charlie. You were correct. All right, Charlie, now, here's a number written as a word statement. Let's write the number using digits. So here we go. 655,038. Notice we put the zero in the hundreds place because we need to have three digits in each period and we didn't have any hundreds. So I put the zero there. Here we have 23 billion. Notice we do not have any millions. We put the three zeros to represent that period. Remember, you have to represent all the periods when you're writing the numbers using digits. We have 104,002. Remember, you have to have three digits in each period, except for the first one. Here we have, Charlie, 7 trillion. No billions, so we put zeros for that period. We do have two millions, so we put the 002 in the millions period. We have no thousands, we put the zeros there to represent that period, and we bring it home with a 10. There you go, Charlie, and that completes part two. We'll see you again soon.